Greetings internet, this is Jay Bringer here. Today I feel like doing a bit of a vlog. At the time of recording this, it is actually New Year's Day, so I'm hoping everyone had a safe and happy New Year's Eve. And is looking forward to um, a prosperous new year. In the background there we've got some Kirby Triple Deluxe. It's um, kind of relevant to what I want to talk about today, and plus it's, it's a pretty decent game. But before we get started, I want to throw in a little bit of backstory that um, prompted my interest in today's topic. I walked into my local EB Games recently, and I noticed they had, uh, on the 3DS shelf, they had a few games marked down. And one of them was this game here, Kirby's Triple Deluxe. Now, usually, I don't know what it's like where you guys live, but, um... First party Nintendo stuff rarely gets dropped in price. And um, I saw this Kirby game for almost, I think it might have been 35 or 40% off, which like that was huge to me. So I thought, you know, why not? It's a classic Nintendo franchise and I myself personally am not too familiar with it. So, you know, I thought I'd pick it up, give it a go. And I'll tell you what, I did actually really enjoy this game. My only minor complaint is, in this game, Kirby feels a little slow, even when he dashes, but this isn't a game review. My previous Kirby experience extends to maybe Kirby's Dreamland on the Game Boy and the Super Fun Pack on SNES, which I think is called something different in America. Kirby All-Star, maybe? I also played Kirby's Epic Yarn, but that game feels like a bit of a departure from the classic Kirby franchise, as it's... It's a little different in the way Kirby actually handles. Still, still a fun game though. And so after playing through Kirby's Triple Deluxe, it, it left me with a newfound love for the Kirby franchise. And this sort of ties into what I want to talk about today, which is Amiibos. Now personally, I never thought I wanted to get into Amiibos. I thought they were just a, a fad, a passing thing that, you know... I'd never be interested in. But when I was in my local game store, I saw a Kirby amiibo there, and he was just so goddamned adorable, and it was only like 20 bucks. So you thought, you know what? I'm gonna pick that up. Even though at the current point in time, I don't actually own Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U, I've still just got the 3DS version. But you know, they've said in the past that amiibos are gonna be compatible with other games. And just recently, there was an announcement that Kirby, DDD, and uh, Meta Knight are going to be available to use in the upcoming Kirby game, The Rainbow Curse, I think it's called. So I thought, great, I've got myself a Kirby now. Why, why not start a little amiibo collection for all the games that might potentially end up having amiibo compatibility one day? So following my natural train of thought, the next amiibo I thought I might want would be DDD. So I checked out my usual online marketplace for a DDD Amiibo, and wouldn't you know it, it was sold out. So I was thinking to myself, god damn, I can't believe these things are selling out as well as they have. Meta Knight comes out in a couple days, I might just wait and see if I can get a Meta Knight Amiibo. Silly me forgot to pre-order one, and day one, guess which Amiibo was sold out. All of them, really, but I didn't get my Meta Knight. And this just got me thinking, what the hell is up with this amiibo craze? Every goddamned amiibo is almost sold out. If it's not a mainstream one that they probably overproduced, like Mario or Peach, sometimes you'll find a Pikachu or a Yoshi. But all the less famous ones that, like, a hardcore Nintendo fan like myself might want, like a Star Fox or a Mega Man, you are so hard pressed to find one of those these days. And I think that it's mostly to do with when Nintendo came out and said that they were discontinuing three of their amiibos. And as soon as they said that, people went nuts. As soon as you tell someone they can't have something, that's when they want it the most. And don't get me started on all these bastards that buy out all the amiibos they can so they can bump the price up and sell them on eBay. And then you've got these poor crazy parents trying to satisfy their spoiled little brats 
paying out of the asshole for all these amiibos that are sometimes more than twice of what they were originally worth. And so Nintendo sees the success of these little toys they make, which begs the question, are you going to produce more? Because there are so many customers who didn't get their Meta Knights or their DDDs, their Little Macs, their Mega Mans. Nintendo's response? Nah, we're just going to make trading cards to replace the Amiibos. It's not that I hate the idea of trading cards, but it just feels like a lazy solution. And maybe if you didn't want to spend so much on the production of Amiibos, maybe you could have started off with a trading card game instead of figurines. But I don't blame Nintendo. They probably didn't know that Amiibo was going to be as big of a hit as it is because I know I certainly didn't. I guess at the end of the day, all we can hope for is that Nintendo learns from these first two waves of Amiibos and maybe in future increase the production of Amiibos and not just from the mainstream franchises like Mario. So I'm off to do battle online, haggling over prices, trying to get my Meta Knight and DDD. And there's also my Star Fox and my Donkey Kong. I did manage to pre-order a Bowser. So now all that's left to do is sit back and wait for the email to tell me that quantities will not match demand. And that's all I really have to say on the matter. I didn't want to make it seem like it was a huge rant. I'm just a little disappointed that potential game elements in future games coming out are going to be restricted because I don't have a little figurine. I mean, who knows what the future holds for these games and their amiibo compatibility. But not having the amiibos to even try, that's what bothers me. Anyway guys, what's your opinions on the matter? Do you have any amiibos? Anyway, I'll catch you next time. Have a good one.